Hey everyone, my name is Delana Burns and I'm with you today with Live with Prima and um, I want to welcome everybody to the show and uh, say how happy I am that you've joined me. It's always exciting to see the, the folks show up and join the show. Um, I've got a really cute uh, Resist Canvas album to share with you today and uh, I'm excited to show you all the details and how I put that together. So I um, want to first do a few announcements and uh, I'll redo these again at the end of the show, but just to go over them, just in case I get real busy and forget. Uh, Thursday night, uh, Carrie will be on. She's going to be doing some gorgeous bloom um, bloom cards and uh, y'all don't want to miss that. Carrie always does a great show. Uh, next, we have Art Venture in California and that's uh, January 6th and 7th of 2015. Um, a really great event any retailers that um, will be attending CHA it's a really good thing to attend it's just right before CHA happens and um, just anybody who wants an awesome event should really go and attend that also we have uh, special delivery kits going out uh, again in August and um, there's they're $39.99 with a $100 value in each of those kits they are completely awesome if you haven't checked those out or received yours you really need to do that they're really great if you have any questions about those, you can contact Frank Garcia and you can email him at frank at primamarketinginc.com. Um, and those also are in a limited number uh, quantity wise. So uh, act on that quick when you see those uh, for sale. Go to um, livewithprima.com actually to get those. And I uh, click on shop and you'll see the kits. So that's how you get your um, special delivery kits. So really quick, I want to show you the album that we're going to be working with today. Maybe the color's a little better when I hold it up like this. But you can see I've, I've made it with uh, Resist Canvas. And also the really pretty new canvas flowers that Prima released this time. Um, you can see uh, it's made really simple on the inside. A lot of spraying, used a lot of the bloom sprays, but uh, minimal as far as um, adding any embellishments I wanted that to um, I just wanted the actual resist canvas to kind of shine here I did add a few wood buttons and uh, some of the doily trim but you can just see it's mainly the canvas and I'm terrible at holding this up at the camera obviously um, but you can kind of get an idea and uh, this is the back of the album and you can see I've used a little um, wire on the um what are they on the little clips I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember what these things are called so i'm going to go ahead and pan down and we'll get started and one more time i want to thank you so much for joining me so i'm going to go ahead and pan down bear with me just a second okay i want to get this focused well i was having a little trouble with the focus a few minutes ago and I think we're going to be okay. I think it's going to, I think it's going to do well. If you don't mind, I want to adjust just one more, one more little shift here. Just let me know if you're having a problem hearing me, um, or if it's not clear for you. But again, here is the actual album, and you can see the wire and and all the beautiful canvas. So I want to show you first what I started with, and. Um, this may go wonky for sure. I'm going to leave this there just in case because the, the resist is white and it's probably not going to come into view. But there are some there are some older resist pieces and some newer. Um, so this, this particular one is one that I'm going to use. You can see the little half circles in this one. Uh, just a really pretty design. And the number on this one is 960612. That's one. Also, this one, you can see it's kind of a honeycomb um, shape on the, on the resist, and it's number 960605. Also, this, I think, is my favorite. It's polka dot. I, I, I love polka dots. I think most of us do if we're crafters. Uh, number 960629, and this is an older one, but it's one of my favorites. It's... Um, you can see it's got the little checkerboard pattern, and it's number 960582. So those are the resist pieces that I'm going to be using, and I'm just going to pull out one 
um, I did a lot of spraying and a lot of the work for this canvas ahead. It's a really fast album to put together, but the drying time for the um, for the resist is is kind of lengthy. So you want to you want to let that dry really well, and I, we would not have had enough time on camera in just the hour um, to have dried everything. So I want to show you just really quick how I started the project. Um, I am going to spray for you and um, then show you how I actually cut my album pieces. What you want to do first, uh, I always use a box like this. It's kind of got a top on it, something I probably got in the mail. And um, first thing you want to do is give it a really good spray with just some water. So I'm just going to use some water. And you just want to give it a really good, not soaking wet, but you want to give it a really good coverage. Um, it, it really helps your bloom sprays to go a little farther, and it, um, it just helps you get the process going and, and started. So you want to have a paper towel handy as well for the resist. So what I'm going to do is use this... Um, I'm going to use the summer sky color. This is one of one of my favorite colors. You want to shake up your shake up your mist to get all that lovely shiny mica moving around in there. Um, and then you just want to give it a good spray, just all over. You just want to give it a really good spray. I'm going to um, hope I'm not going to mist my camera lens. I didn't think of that. Okay, just a really good spray all over. And I like the idea that it's a little lighter and darker in some areas. I kind of like that little two-tone effect that you get. So just like this is about how I leave it. And then with just a paper towel, I just want to run across it, um, removing some of the mist so that your resist, the white color in the resist comes through. And you can see what a pretty color effect you get from that okay and that's it as far as your your misting if you're a little a little picky about the back side if you want to go over it you can do that we're going to fold this so that this will be encased it won't show so for this project it's not that it's not that big a deal but if you do want to mist the back and get your coverage back there you can do that but for now this is this is our um our coverage for what we need today and I want to show you as far as the size that I've got here with the um, with the album actual pieces you can see when I unfold this this is one-third of this sheet of um, canvas it's 12 by 12 so you want to cut strips four inch strips which means you will actually get three pages and I know these patterns are not the same well, you will get three pages of your album from each sheet of uh, Resist Canvas. So, um, I had a lot of the sheets on hand. I'm, I'm quite the collector, obviously, of these different um, styles of canvas. So, I changed up for my album one of each actual color. You can use three of the same, just whatever you want to do. So, what I'm going to do is just lay this to the side out of the way and the next thing I want to show you that I I've used are these um, are these canvas flowers and these are brand new by Prima I've actually uh, sprayed some ahead and Carrie I don't have the numbers I received these in just bags like this so I don't actually have the numbers for these but you can see um, they come in white I'm just kind of lay these out here. You've got white, you've got a kind of a canvas color, and um, also the burlap. But you can just see how how awesome these little fabric flowers are. And they probably measure about uh, they're about three and a half, three and three quarters inches. And next, I have uh, the leaves that I'm also going to use on this project. So you can see the leaves here. You've got again the white, the canvas, and then the burlap. So what I've used on this project is actually the white and the canvas. I did not use the burlap, but I did use both of these. Um, they both spray really well. You get a little deeper tone uh, in your 
spray if you use the canvas color. I don't know if you can even tell the difference, but this is more of a creamy and this is more of a natural white. Um, but spraying those, they work well. They look very bright and happy when you spray them. And you can see we've got one sprayed in kind of the teal. I've used um, the sorbet and the yellow color. And then also I use the peony. Um, I want to say peony every time I say that word. I know it's peony, but with my southern accent, I sound more natural saying peony. What do you think? Um, I need to read the chat and really see what you think. But um, you can see also the leaves. Uh, and I've, I've sprayed both the canvas color and the white. And you can see they just make a really pretty color. I used the lime wedge color for those. And you can see this particular one is glistening waves. I've used uh, peony. I've also used sunshine, uh, sorbet. Don't you love all these bloom sprays? They're just, there's something for everything. Lime wedge is what I've used on the leaves. Um, and then I also use summer sky. I just, I just used a touch of it on the, um, actual glistening waves so just kind of made that a two-tone kind of color but uh, you can do whatever you want anything any any color that you want that's the beauty of this album because you're spraying it uh, it can be any color that you want you are totally the boss of that so uh, just kind of go wild I would love to see it if somebody would recreate this and put it on live with Prima and, and kind of tag me so I could see over on Facebook that you guys are actually watching and and getting some ideas from these um, from these shows. Okay, I'm going to move on quickly, quickly, and show you um, how I actually put it together. We went over the spray process, and you can see as far as the album goes, it's got I've got a cover here. You can see that I do have a cover here. Um, one of the one of the sheets I've done a cover, and I plan to make a sister album. I'm not going to make these twins. I'm just going to kind of change it up. And um, they'll be sisters, not twins. I'm kind of liking that lately. Um, but you can see the inside. They're offset just a little. The pages are. I've got five pages in here. So um, I don't like to measure a lot. So a lot of this is just going to be eyeball. Just um, you do it the way you want to do it. Um, I'll, I'll give you some measurements as we go. But you'll notice I'm just going to be eyeballing. Also on my, on my first album, I've done some... Uh, sewing machine stitching. Uh, I tried to do some hand stitching and because of the resist it was just a little tough to get my needle through so I kind of gave up on the hand stitching and went to machine stitching and that is on the album. Uh, it's not showing up real well on camera. You can see it. I will put it on my blog. Carrie has it on Facebook. I think it's on my Facebook as well. Um, but down every page I just added a line of, of just machine stitching uh, to sew the actual pages together and then our ends are open and we got a little ribbon pull here to pull out little tabs for you to add photos to. Also on your little tabs I've added some machine sewing all the way around. Uh, you are welcome to do that if you are a machine stitcher. Um, if sewing you know makes you afraid or you're just not you know one that's going to sew, the project I'm going to create today will be a no sew version. Uh, so just know that you can go back with your sewing machines and, and add those stitches. Uh, and I'll have a picture of both uh, on my blog of each one, the sewn and the no sew. So just so you know that in advance as we as we move on. I feel like I'm talking like 90 miles an hour. Um, I just felt there's a lot to cover. So what I've done with the actual pages, uh, I have actually sealed the edges and I used our wonderful Fabri-Tac glue to do that. I went ahead and did these in advance so that they would be dry. Fabri-Tac dries really fast, but I needed it really, really fast. So uh, I'll just show you kind of what I did just on one of my extra pages here. You just want to run a line of glue right down the edge of both sides. Just a really kind of a thin line. If you want to use double-sided tape, um, something like that, that would work well too. Fabri-Tac is just kind of my go-to. I know especially with this fabric, it is going to hold. And um, if you do a really thin line like that, it's not going to spread a lot so that you don't have to worry about, you know, not having enough room to 
insert your photo card um, you know later so that's it that's all you're going to do to actually seal your pages and I have five here already ready for my album so you can see these are um, already sealed and ready for our um, little cards to go inside so I'll lay this one to the side okay the next thing I want to do is actually prepare my uh, cover and I'm going to do that and again this is just kind of an eyeball situation just kind of stack up your album you've got five five pages here just kind of line them up and at this point they're all the same length line those up and then I've got an extra um, actual cut uh, page sheet that I did not glue and what you want to do is just kind of open it out and insert your album and I went ahead and did my holes for this um, so what I'm going to do on my blog is actually give you measurements for where you actually place your holes for your cover you can see it's about five and a quarter inches from um, from the end and then it's going to be about three quarters of an inch from the side so you've got five and a quarter by about three quarters of an inch um, and that's where you're going to make a dot and then with your crocodile you're going to add your holes um, sorry if y'all hear my dog walking he's he's like begging me to let him out um, I'm going to have to move him okay so what I want to do and once you once you've marked your page with your holes you will be able to lay your five sheets down and just kind of eyeball back here line up your holes okay and actually I am completely wrong okay disregard what I just said about marking those holes sorry guys I'm gonna have to remake these holes when I make my cover this is not my cover page I've left it in the other room so what I'm gonna do is use this one and then I'll just I'll remark my holes so what I'm gonna do is line these up and just this is what I did with the original one you just want to kind of flatten it across the top give yourself enough room and just kind of crease it just a little to give yourself a little bit of a box shape and again this is completely eyeballed there's no there's no right or wrong way once I've done this one I'll give you the measurements I I'm so sorry I do apologize um, I feel like such a dork not having the right piece here um, but anyway you can see that I have crease this kind of just in a square about like that and you see when I kind of gauge it all the way around how this looks so it gives you kind of a spine you're kind of creating a spine kind of a book effect you can see right here um, and I kind of folded it in I wanted it a little bit creased so I just pinched it really nicely with my fingers and the um, canvas once it's sprayed it's really sturdy it makes a really nice sturdy little book effect um, so then what you want to do to get your holes in there is you're going to measure from the end here and up where your holes actually go and I can actually do this now because I have my pages done I can just kind of flip it over here and add I can just add a little pin mark just a little pin mark right here and right here where my you can see where my actual um, holes will go and I'll grab my crocodile and we'll make those holes and then you just want to kind of turn it over you're leaving yourself about about an eighth of an inch from here you want a really nice clearance um, from your little crease there and then we want to mark here and mark here and then we can add our holes and um, I hate to do this but I'm gonna have to grab my crocodile because I thought I was ready um, y'all bear with me one second let me grab my tool okay I'm back okay this is like um, 
somebody watching this later on is going to be like what in the world is that woman doing okay then we just want to make our make our little punches and yes i know we're going to have we're going to have extra holes on this one but but that'll be okay i don't mind i don't mind having a, a few extra holes and i'm actually having to blow the little tab out of the thing i can imagine the chat right now with me leaving the room and all that fun stuff but anyway y'all are so awesome thank you for thank you for bearing with me okay now we have our holes again and um anyway i can actually go back and add a little fringe or something to uh, cover up my silliness right there okay so the next thing i want to do is just kind of lay my my album in here like so and you can see on the original I've just folded this back so you can see that I've just actually folded this back and with just a little glue attach that so just again I'm just going to kind of lay it here and you're going to just fold back fold it back onto itself and give it a nice crease and if it's not in the exact place where I had mine it's perfectly okay when you're done if you feel like you didn't get quite enough um, you didn't get it short enough you can always cut it off and just to let you know along the edges I'm using my pink and shears so uh, you can always just cut that right off and the pink and shears help as far as fraying and things like that too so what you want to do is go in with your fabric tack and just with a bead of glue right at this in at this inside crease here you just want to add a bead of glue and what I do is just use kind of the tip of my glue um, dispenser here and just kind of spread it out it helps it to dry a little faster and it, it it dries really fast on its own anyway but it does give it a little um a little help if you actually spread it out just a little bit if it's not such a thick goopy um glob so all these words i'm using today so while i'm pinching this together i want to kind of see what everybody's saying and yes i see that carrie's added my my blog and I will have measurements on my blog when the show's over I'll go in and post photos and I will actually post these um, these measurements for you so it'll make it kind of easier uh, to see how you put it together so then I want to turn it over and do the exact same thing to the back I'm just going to fold it up onto itself can you kind of see how I'm doing that and flatten it out and open this move this so that you can see so you can kind of see here, I'm just kind of pushing it back. And then with my fingers, I'm just creasing it. Just with a nice crease. And you can run your fingernail kind of down the edge. I'm careful not to run my fingernails a lot. The the uh, resist likes to grab my fingernail polish. So if you do wear a red fingernail polish, be careful. It'll it'll get on your it'll get on your little white resist areas. Okay. So a little bit of glue there, and we're just going to kind of hold that down just for a minute. While I'm holding that, I want you to see that the front has already pretty well adhered to itself. So it's not it's not going to come apart on the front. It takes just a second. Just kind of hold that down. Okay. And what I want to do now is, with my first page, again, most of this I'm eyeballing. So I'm going to go in and kind of line up my holes. You can see the hole in the album um, and the hole in the um, cover. And if I didn't mention this, as far as the album goes, once you have your strips opened out and cut, let's see, let me just grab one that's not been done. Once you have your strips opened out and they're cut, you want to fold them in half. And then you're going to go in about a quarter of an inch and punch your holes. Once you've done your first page, you can kind of line up the rest and uh, mark to do the rest. Mm -hmm. And you can always do the cover just like I did. Yes, you can also trim it shorter. If you don't want to add the folding uh, here, it could definitely be... Um, be trimmed shorter what I'm going to do with the folding is add a little trim it's going to, it's just a little decorative 
more of a little decorative incentive, the folding and the layers. It just adds to your layers and um, kind of the hoopla of the album. So just gives you that little extra kick. Um, but absolutely, you could just cut it shorter. So what we're going to do with each one of these, we're going to stagger the length of each one of them. So, and again, I'm going to eyeball this. You are so welcome to actually measure and draw straight lines and, and all that. I'm going to match up my holes um, and hold this with, with just one finger. And I'm just with my pink and shears. I'm going to allow about an inch, just about an inch here, and um, actually cut this off because I want, I want each page to be a different length. So I'm just gonna, with my pink and shears, just cut. Um, Y'all know I sew, I make draperies and bedding, so I sew so much. I'm pretty good at cutting a straight line without measuring. So you are certainly welcome to, um, to measure. So once I have this one cut, I'll just let you know each time. This one measures about four and a quarter inches. So the next thing I want to do is with each page, I want to stagger it about about a quarter of an inch apart. Um, and like on my first album, I originally when I was cutting, I did have to go back in and make a few adjustments. It didn't seem to be quite as uh, short in some areas as I would have liked it. So I just went back and uh, recut in a few spots. So. Um, Okay, I'm rereading the same message. Sorry, that's my um, that's my cell phone beeping or dinging or whatever it's doing. Okay, and you can see we've got the purple, we got the pink, just about a quarter of an inch longer, and I'm gonna cut the um, the blue here just about a quarter of an inch longer as well, maybe closer to a half inch um, before it's done on some of these. I don't, I kind of don't know why that happens, but Anyway, we're, um, okay, so you can see I need to cut a little bit more off of the blue so that I can trim a little bit off of the yellow, and um, so you can see how this works. And then we have the green in the back, so you can see you have all your pages staggered. Your green's a little longer than your yellow, then your blue, and then your pink, and then we've got your purple right next to the cover here. Um, so you can see when that's put together about how that's going to look. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, just so you can kind of see how um, the cover's going to work, I'm going to go ahead and decorate my cover. The last thing I'm going to do is put it together. Uh, so you can see, we're going to add some wire flowers and um, some more to the back portion as well. But let's go ahead and move on and start embellishing this some. And um, then we'll add our inside, our inside papers for our photos. So what we've got here are a few leaves. And let's choose a flower. Since I'm not making this a twin, this is going to be a sister I'm going to choose a few different colors for our cover. So I like this. I like the, the kind of yellow on top of it. And that is more sorbet than sunshine. I think originally I had a sunshine color. So what I'm going to do for the No Sew album, you can see I did that on the flowers. Do you see that I did? With, see, I just kind of made little check marks with a black Sharpie to give it kind of a stitched appearance. I'm going to do the same thing on, on these flowers, and it's just a really quick process. You're just going to do a little check and a dot, little check and a dot, little check and a dot. And you're just going to go all the way around. Gives you that little bit of detail, and I do it really quick. I'm not worried about it being straight or even, or if I'm a little farther out on one, I don't, I don't really care. This is just a really quick accent, and... Um, just a really fast process, so just don't even worry about taking your time. Just hurry this little process through. And I should have really done this ahead of time as well, but wasn't thinking. Same thing on our leaves. Just gonna we're gonna mark it all the way around. Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but my dog is begging me. 
He is at my feet begging me. Bless his little heart. Okay, all the way around, we're going to mark these. Another thing that I like to do, because I like dimension with these, I'm going to take my little staple gun, and I am going to, on the leaves, I'm going to just give them a little bit of a fold. I'm not paying attention to the chat at all, so I hope that, I hope that everybody is, um, is okay and are following along pretty well. I feel like this is going like 90 miles an hour. Um, if you've missed anything, I hope you'll come back and check out the recording uh, or check out my blog. But you can see I just gave it a little fold and then a, a quick staple. And that just creates a little bit of dimension so that your leaves are not flat. I, just, I don't like anything flat, so it just helps me to get that little bit of a, of a um, raise without having to add so much pop behind them. And then with my flowers, because I also want them to have a little bit of, um, of pop, I'm going to fold these, and it's kind of hard to show you this, but I'm going to fold these like down the middle between two petals, and then I'm going to give it another little quick twist fold like this, and I'm going to go in, and this, it kind of happens different every single time I do it, but I just want to give it a quick staple and you can see that that gives a little bit it looks kind of wonky at first but when you add your center i am going to add button centers to these when you've added your center you can kind of manipulate the um the, the actual petals just a little bit and get a really nice look you can even go back in and i'm going to do that go back in with an extra staple and just kind of crisscross your staples to kind of hold that in place um, if you if you don't want a staple, if you don't have a stapler, you can use glue, or you can use these flat, and you can just use pop dots behind them. Um, you know, anything that you want to do is perfectly perfectly okay. Y'all know I'm big with um, cardboard usually, and um, today I'm not. Today I'm going to use these Craft Collection um, by Tombow. It's a peel and stick um, little adhesive tab. And I just got my hands on these, and I'm actually going to, and they're clear, so I'm going to pop one in behind here. I've not used these a lot, but they have adhered so well. The tab, um, the tab kind of doesn't like to turn loose, but they adhered so well with the canvas, I wanted to use them. And since they're clear, I don't have to worry about, since it's the canvas album, my cardboard peeking out from behind. So what I want to do is just kind of lay my flower right about there. And then as far as the leaves go, I'm just going to add a little bit of the um, liquid glue. I want a little bit of the Fabri-Tac because I'm just going to kind of tuck these in. And I'm adding the Fabri-Tac on these because they'll be kind of held in place for just a minute by the actual flower sitting on them. So I don't mind, um, I don't mind using the actual the actual wet glue. It does take just a minute to dry, but um, but we'll have time because this is going to sit while we continue to finish the album. So I tucked one in there. I'm going to pull my cover off. And then right in behind our fold here, I kind of want to go in with this one. So I'm going to raise our fold up just a little and add that one because I kind of just want these to be kind of right off the edge right here. And if they're, I'm not so worried if they're not just like my other one. Um, I kind of like them to look a little different, so I'm going to put that right there, and you can see how that, how that's going to look on our cover. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is a few more flowers, so again, I'm going to have to go around and some of these I didn't do the little check with the circles. I just kind of drew. I just kind of drew all the way around. Um, my phones are all ringing. Okay, just want to kind of. Am I still? Am I? Or am I in view of you? Let's get in view of you. Sorry about that. I'm just taking the sharpie again, and I'm drawing all the way around the petal. And you can do the little check and dot, or you can draw all the way around. I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I just want a little bit of emphasis on my edges here. So, no big deal. I'm just going to finish these up really quick. 
so that I can, um, in fact, I've already, already done that one. So just want to kind of finish these up so we can move on with embellishing. Thank goodness I did not save all this spraying because this is um, becoming a little, or I feel like it's a little time consuming. Okay, I think we'll go back to our checks on this one. And you can see it just doesn't really matter. You could do just little dots. Um, you could do a colored Sharpie. You don't have to use black. Um, just kind of whatever you want to do, however you want to enhance it. It just looks nice. And you could even machine stitch on this. Um, and these canvas flowers, they would look gorgeous if you actually did some hand stitching on these. With the, um, you could even use the new jute or the uh, waxed cord would be beautiful stitched on these. Okay, now what I want to do is just go ahead and do my stapling. And you can see I do this really quick, no big deal. I just kind of kind of get it over with all the little leaves it's so funny when you start this time just starts kind of getting away from you but I know y'all will stay with me for a few minutes if I happen to run run a little longer than an hour I'm, I'm trying but you never know what I'm doing is just kind of manipulating this so that when I do staple my fold is um, secure because it's a little stiff once you've sprayed and um, I'm doing this kind of in a two-step process so you can kind of see you can do one little fold and then go back and do the other and um, add two staples and um, it makes it work and that's if your that's if your staples go all the way through which mine are not for some reason so we will just do it again okay so you can see we've got our little our little dimension created there and then one more here with our blue. And you can see I'm just making the fold here. And this might be an easier process. Um, and then I'm making another fold across from the other direction, like so. And I love this little tiny attacher. The staples are really small and they, they seem to work well, unless you're on camera and you're trying to hurry to get through the process then they give you a problem okay so you can see really quick I wish I was talented enough to read the chat and teach I, I, I can't do it I obviously can't staple either but I just I can't read the chat. Um, Carrie, if anybody needs me, would you please um, text me because I'm not able to pay attention. Okay, and any mess that you feel like you've made in the center of these, once you've added your flower center, um, you will be able to cover up. So it's perfectly okay. However you get that crease in there or not, totally up to you. So I'm going to kind of clean my mess up here. Okay, so we're going to move on with actually putting our album together. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and add my rings. We are going to add some, um, and to add your ring, you want to go through your cover first. Okay, get my hand out of the way. You're going to go through your cover first, the front of your cover, and then you're going to add each one of your pages to your ring. We're going to ignore those extra holes that I made. So just add each one, and then you want to go through your back, your back, the back of your cover. So and then clip it so that your ring kind of, um, kind of hangs off like so, or so that these. And what I want to do is get this clip back. To the back of the album I should have paid attention to that originally because I'm going to go back and add wire to this the wire thread to this ring and um, I want this piece right here you see the little where it's connected I want that in the back so if you if you don't get it there when you originally put it through then just pull the pages around 
until it's, you know, until it meets there. Probably need to go through the back first. So I'm going to go through this back hole and then through each page on the inside. And you just want to feed those on as you go. And there we have it. Clip. And that puts your little, your little connector in the back. So you can see how you've got your little folds here and the side, it almost looks like a little spine. And um, I'll go back and cover up our holes with some kind of decoration. That'll, that'll fix that. There's always a fix for something. Okay, to decorate the back, what I'm going to use are these pieces that I actually cut off of the album itself, the album pages. I want to use one just, I'm just going to kind of tuck them in. And I may have to cut it down just a little, but just to give the back a little bit more kick, I'm just going to add a little uh, Fabri-Tac and place those right in our fold. And it just adds a little bit more detail on the back. I'm not going to add any more embellishments back there, but um, I don't know. I just kind of like the back to have a little bit of you know a little bit of decoration too so I'm just going to take two doesn't matter which colors just um, some of your larger pieces that you cut off just kind of add those to the back and I'm just going to kind of fold this up out of the way and tuck that in and since you got your little pinking sheer edge it just gives a little bit of detail as you can tell there's just a little bit of detail there with the yellow and the purple um, next to the pink so that's that's all we're going to do to the back um, moving to the front what I'm going to do as far as these um, centers go I've got some wooden buttons and I didn't really put the numbers these are just from my stash I have tons of Prima wood buttons and you can use wood buttons from your stash I just I happen to have a lot of these so I want to add a few um, as centers and just to add a little detail so I'm just going to go in and grab a few and just kind of I'm just going to have to pour them out I guess just kind of coordinate um, I think that's a good one for this and I'm actually going to thread that with some of the new jute and I'm crazy about the jute this is number five seven six eight seven five this is the wheat color jute, love it. And what I've done on the packaging, because it, the jute just kind of is there, I wanted something to run the, um, the thread through so that I could find it. I took my Tim Holtz scissors and I just cut a little slit and you can see it's really easy to do. Just cut a slit right in the side so that when you're finished using it before you store it away, you can catch your thread there and you can just grab it and start it with your next project so it, you don't get the flyaways as well you don't have all that and it's it's neatly put away so what I'm going to do is just cut a piece of this and it's thick enough that I can just run it through the buttonholes and the buttonholes on these wood buttons are big enough you can just like run it through a couple of times what I do is just thread it through a few times so that it's kind of thick in there there's so much room between these wooden buttonholes I felt like it needed maybe two two times through there and then on the back I'm just going to tie it in a knot just you could tie a bow um, on the front if you like I'm just going to tie a knot on the back and um, snip it kind of close and then with a little glue my glue's oozing just a little so I'm just going to just going to take advantage of that I'm just going to add my my button and it looks like I've got a threaded button all the way through my flower nope I did it really quick and easy so you can kind of see the detail that that button adds um, it just makes it it makes it really really nice okay so the next thing I want to do is go ahead with all these um, flowers and add a button so let's go ahead and add one with this and again we're just going to run the jute through. and I know we still got to get to our pages um, just wanted to kind of embellish these the pages are so quick and easy to uh, do we're gonna cut them to size and then add a little um, we're gonna add a little ribbon to the end 
and um, again we'll do a no sew and quick and easy and perfect pages to add little photos or little sentiments or whatever you want to put in this little in this little dainty album so we're just going to cut that close Add our glue, our button right to the center. Okay, what I want to do with this one is, um, well, I actually think I want to maybe use a blue one on that second page. So I'm going to go ahead and add another, another little button. Maybe we'll add a heart shape. And you can see a little bit of this jute goes a long way to thread your buttons. And you could use brads for centers or just whatever you have handy. Um, just just use your imagination and just make it really pretty. Okay, there's not enough room really to do this more than once. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie the knot and just use this just with one run through. That'll be fine. It's still going to be threaded. It's going to appear that we've actually sewn this in and um, we didn't. We cheated. We glued it on. And the Fabri-Tac glues anything. So, well, I say anything. I don't. I've not tried anything. It's not glued. So, um, and you could even use these little clear uh, Tombow tabs as well. That would that would be that would work really well on this canvas. So what I want to do is add a little glue to the back of the flower. And we want to add this flower. We want this one here. We want this one here. We just kind of want it peeking out. You like your albums to be nice and full and everything kind of peeking out and beautiful. And um, one thing I did not add that I do want to add to the cover here is a little bit of this trim. And this is brand new from Prima. Uh, Carrie, this is the little white cotton with the little pointy edge. I'm not sure what the number is. Again, I just got like a bag of this, so I don't have the numbers. But um, I want to just run like a little line of glue right along my fold right here. Fabri-Tac works perfect for this. Double-sided tape or something like that would work as well. But um, I'm Fabri-Tac crazy, so I love to use the Fabri-Tac. So, and Prima's got several trims uh, right now that, that would be great for this. So this is just one that I happen to pick up. And I'm... Um, run out of the room with so kind of want to I'm going to tuck my end under I kind of like a finished edge you don't have to do that um, I just do kind of like for the edge to appear finished so I just cut it a little bit longer than I needed it and folded it in so you can see look what that adds it's just so pretty it adds just a touch of the white um, and just a little bit of a pop I, I just really love love the look of it okay the next thing i want to add behind this um teal flower is a leaf and a little little fabric tack and i'm just going to raise my flower just a little and we're going to have our leaf kind of come out this side of the album so you can see it's just easy peasy you're just kind of tucking and poking it in no big deal and that's you know that's kind of that's kind of our decoration for that page we'll go back with a few more um, little um, brads in just a few minutes but this is going to kind of be our decorations very very easy album next i want to add another um, another flower and what i'm going to do this time is i'm going to really quickly make a um, a wire a wire flower you can see I, I this is this is kind of my wire thread and uh, I keep it on this big ring this is one of my favorite products I think that Prima's done um, I love playing with the wire I'm gonna just I'm gonna cut off about a yard I'm not gonna need it but I'm gonna cut it off anyway because I'll use it for my center what I'm gonna do is make a flower really simple flower start off with a loop just a loop kind of twist Keep yourself a little tail, twist your little tail, and then make another loop. Take your extended thread and kind of wrap it around your tail one or two times, it doesn't matter. You're going to add a glued center to this, so it's all going to hold in the end. Make a third loop. If one loop is bigger than the other, I do not let it bother me. Um, 
it doesn't matter there's not a perfect flower in nature and our flowers don't have to be perfect either so just keep that in mind um, I'm gonna add a fourth loop and each time I'm just kind of wrapping it around the tail and if it slips just kind of pull it back and in the end you're going to be able to really adhere it so one more loop so you see you've got five loops there and they look they look kind of crazy to start with but with the remaining um, wire thread that you have you just kind of want to wrap it just to secure it just a little and then you're just going to kind of shape you're just going to kind of shape your flowers there your little petals I should say you're just going to give them a little bit of shape these little tails that you have left over you can bend to the center because um, we are going to put a, a button there for a center and they'll be hid or you can clip them off just just whatever you whatever you want to do so you can see this is kind of going to be our flower I'm going to just clip off our tails and kind of just squeeze those down out of the way um, I could shape this forever but um, I won't for time purposes but you can see that kind of gives us our flower and for that I wanted to use behind it one of our little trim doilies and uh, this is number 573393 so I just want to kind of cut apart and just use one of our doilies so I'm going to add a little glue I'm going to add the glue actually to the um, I'm trying to see which side I want it on I'm going to add the glue actually to the page and then we're just going to place the little doily there and then I want to add a little more glue for our flower and you want that glue kind of thick to kind of grab a hold to that center of that flower and um, just place it there like so and what I think I want to do on this one is maybe add a brad as a center so I'm going to grab one of these bloom brads uh, from the bloom collection 980108 and I'm just kind of going to grab one and I like to cut the I just kind of cut the legs off of these I use my Tim Holtz scissors and these little legs go flying but um, I find them later so just kind of the little tab piece that you have left just use your scissors to kind of smash that down so you want to add um, a good amount of glue to your center here you want it kind of heaped up because you want it to be able to grab this wire and sort of hold on until it dries so you can kind of see I don't know if you can see that but you can kind of see that that is our flower um, I, I love this effect love the wire so that's going to be a flower there I'm going to let that dry for just a minute before I turn the page and go ahead and work on our other flower I want to the one that we added the center to a few minutes ago I want to go ahead and add some glue to the back of it And I'm probably not doing this, um, in fact, I know I'm not doing this the same as I did my other album, but that's okay. This is, the again, the beauty of this album. Just do it your way and have fun with it. So we'll adhere that one there. I want to take a, a leaf and just add a little glue. Um, after a while, my, my glue begins to ooze, the Fabri-Tac likes to ooze out the top which sometimes that's good because you can just grab it okay so to the inside of the album here I want to add the leaf for this for this flower so you can see it's just going to kind of be um, on the inside page there and just kind of check on our little wire flower next I want to make one more wire flower and I think I want to do it out of um, I have the new colors so I've got these let's well I think I want to use one of the well let's use one of the new colors this is one of the brand new released colors and this is number let's see this will be number five seven six nine five zero and it's a really pretty blue color so I just want to take off about a again about a yard and same thing I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller so I'm going to start my loop just a little bit smaller wrap your little tail wrap your tail okay we're almost done I may go if y'all will if y'all will bear with me an additional five minutes um, we are almost done okay 
do another little loop because again we want five loops or you know if you want four or six or do it however you want to do it there's no there's no rule however you like it and I just kind of figure out with different ones kind of where to wrap it to get it to hold sometimes I wrap it around the whole bunch um, because I'm always going to add some kind of a center so I don't worry about it I just get my loops in and I get them secure so I kind of want to cut this off I got a long tail I want a shorter tail so um, last loop I'm just going to kind of wrap in here and um, give it a little pinch pull our little tails to the top so I can clip those just kind of clip those off okay and you can see with our five petals um, you can adjust and adjust and I do the same thing just to kind of get them shaped um, you can add you know different little shapes you can make little dimples in the ends and make them a, a different shaped flower whatever you want to do so what I'm going to do for this one is make a actual center out of the um, wire so I'm just going to wrap it around my finger just get a little circle of this around my finger and then just kind of twist this the inside um, and because this likes to fray I want to use a lighter you can use a match or a lighter and just singe it just a little let's cut off the excess just kind of clip the excess and then just really quick just singe the end and that prevents the fraying so you don't have to worry about it fraying after somebody's handled your project um, don't catch it on fire like I just did but um, just kind of singe the end and then what I'm going to do is add a little glue to the back of this just like so. fabri is going to dry clear so you don't have to worry about a glue mess and um, that's kind of going to be the center for this one you can go back in if you like and add uh, one of these small brads this is from the delight collection and I um, think I'm just going to grab uh, uh, this little butterfly and layers and layers and more layers that's just the more layers the better so we'll add just right to the center a little glue and we'll just add that right there but you can see you've got your um, you've got your wire kind of around the outside of it and it just gives it that extra little bit of layering um, and again I want to cut another one of the little doily pieces and we're going to add this one here so let's add a little glue a little glue there layer our doily and then we'll add a little glue on top of the doily and just enough to kind of sit our wire down in just so you have a little puddle of it so that when it dries it grabs that wire and um, holds all that in place okay you can kind of see how that's how that's going from here okay we have one more flower to add here and I just want to really quickly add a little center let's do this out of the blue one let's add a little center and um, we're going to be just about ready for our pages um, and they're going to be really quick really quick and easy I may just show you um, on a couple of them and then we won't have to go through the process of every single one of them okay we're going to add our button right about here not real thrilled with the shape of this flower but once the glue dries I can go in and and shape this one up just a little bit so we're going to go back and we'll add We'll add that one right about here. And then we'll also add a little leaf to that one as well. You don't have to add the leaves, but they just add that extra bit of detail and dimension that we all love. So right behind here, we're going to just lay the leaf in right about there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just add a few brads to my cover. Just go ahead and get the little decorating process over with. Um, I'm going to have to sweep all my little 
legs up that I've cut from these um, brads when I'm done. And again, I'm taking this from the Bloom Collection. And again, we're just going to add that right about there. All of these are are going to match. Everything kind of, um, you know, is kind of the, the right color. Uh, also, you can use these little, um, these little epoxy stickers. I'm going to grab those. Grab my little pointy scissors so I can grab those. But I'm going to grab a few of those. And um, I just kind of grab them with my scissors and add a little glue. And then kind of, since that's a heart, I kind of want it in that shape. I want that right on top of that little dot there. That's kind of in that little yellow color. Um, and you've got the round ones. You just kind of want to, you know, decorate and enhance. I always add a little bit of extra glue to these when they're being used with the canvas. Um, it always helps to have, you know, the little bit of extra glue. And um, so that uh, people are going to handle your albums and that kind of stuff. And you don't want your embellishments falling off in their hands. So, again, brads are about what we're going to use to embellish the rest of it. And um, you can see I'm just going to grab a little glue from where it's oozing from the top and um, just around the album I'm going to add more um, more of the little epoxy dots you can add little pearls you can add some of the saving crystal blings uh, lots of different options for just little embellishments like that that you can add more of your buttons um, just whatever whatever you want to add the, the sky is the limit so the next thing I want to do is just kind of show you how I've done the pages here and I've used both of uh, Julie Nutting's books here because I wanted, um, one had purple, one didn't, and I wanted to pull purple in too. And uh, so I used um, both of them. They're brand new, 910860. This is blush. And dress, they're both the Dress Me Up paper lines and also number 910877. So I've kind of cut this to size and it's going to be about three and a about three and a quarter inches maybe three and an eighth inches but you want to be able to get it inside of your little pocket um, you want to be able to kind of slide it in to your pocket of your album uh, so what I've done is I've cut them about that wide or I plan to cut them about that wide slide them in and slide them in and then give it a quick mark as to where to cut it off um, less measuring um, so you know it works a little bit faster so what I want to do is just kind of cut that off where I've marked it and I'm going to need two of those I'll have to have a back and a front so I'm, I'm not really going to worry all these papers coordinate so I'm going to cut this one off about the same size um, and you can kind of use your your piece to kind of guide um, guide you to make it a little bit faster and I'm using this little um, guillotine cutter that I've had for a very long time to do this kind of quickly. And if you don't get it right the first time, then just, just grab it and do it again. So what I'm going to do is kind of lay these together. And then I'm going to grab a piece of ribbon. And this will be for each page. I'm not going to do each page for time um, purposes. But what you want to do is just cut about an inch and a half piece of ribbon. And what I do is just add a little bit of glue here first. And uh, if you're a sewer and you want to sew these, perfectly fine. You can sew these in. But I'm just going to lay the ribbon in. I'm going to add a little glue kind of across the top here so it will catch the ribbon and add a little glue all over put these put these papers together and then sandwich just kind of sandwich your ribbon like so now if you're a sewer and you want to go around with the machine stitch or if you want to hand stitch all the way around here it's just that little extra detail uh, you can ink the edges, um, you know, decorate these how you want to. They, they don't really need to be embellished except for maybe with a photo or a um, some kind of a, you know, a saying or a title or something like that. Some words you want an encouragement or something there. 
because you want it flat you want to just kind of slide it in and you can see how your ribbon's going to kind of protrude and you'll be able to just pull your page um, from your little sleeve there and it just makes the most adorable album it would make a beautiful gift for for anybody um, for yourself or or anybody that you're thinking of so really quick I want to kind of clear this out of the way and one more time show you my finished album and oh one one last thing sorry guys I know I do this one more thing we've got to do our um, we've got to do our ribbon we had to do our wire rather on our actual um, on our ring and all you're gonna do and I'm not gonna do this this is this is time consuming um, it's pretty quick but it's probably 10 minutes of time you just kind of want to get your wire started by wrapping um, your little one little tail until it's pretty secure and then you just want to loop it in and around until you have covered your entire ring and the first time I used about probably an entire yard of one color and then I just went back over the top of it with a few other colors not using as much just to give it you can see just to give it a you know a few colors on the end if you like the one and you just want to wind it really you know really tight and cover it with just the one you can see once you've wound it you can kind of just push it together and then just continue in and out motion here to get it to get it wrapped around and it is you know it is a little time consuming but it's just such a pretty effect when you're done and it's um, again it's a no so tight idea and it looks like you gave it that extra little bit of attention and um, I could do this I could do this all day but you get the gist of how that's going to work and um, how that's going to be on there for you and then once you're done with your first layer just go back in with a couple of other colors and just kind of you know wrap the same way if you can see just to give it that little extra that little extra bit of kick so that is it as far as the album goes um, that's all that I'll continue showing you for now I hope you got the the idea of how simple this is with the actual resist canvas and uh, I will as soon as we stop record I'm gonna run over to my blog and add a few more details uh, as far as photos go and the measurements for y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and pan up and take a look at the um, at the chat okay <laughs> okay let's see oh hey Karen's here hey Karen um, let's see who else um, thank y'all so much for joining me does anybody have any questions or anything for me um, I want to go over the announcements one more time and just say don't forget to join Carrie on Thursday she's going to be doing the bloom cards uh, Carrie does gorgeous work so you don't want to miss that and uh, it'll be July the 7th at 6 30 Pacific time so don't forget to come back and join her for that art venture in California y'all gotta go um, it's going to be a great time January the 6th and the 7th of 2015 uh, retailers that are attending CHA would be a great experience for you. Uh, it happens the same week, so you could do Art Venture and then just head on to CHA. Uh, but anybody who wants that, you know, to experience that event, please go and check that out. Um, six great teachers with six wonderful classes. Also, the special delivery kits are out, or they're coming out for August, so y'all keep a lookout for that. Go to livewithprima.com to check out those. If you have any questions about them, email Frank at Frank at primamarketinginc.com and I don't forget there's a limit, limited number available so those are $39.99 but they're actually worth a hundred dollars and they are completely awesome I've had one in my hand and um, they are completely awesome so y'all should really check that out but um, that is that is it for me today I'm, I'm so excited to have been here um, and y'all please check out my blog for any measurements and if you have any questions I feel like this maybe got a little confusing for you please contact me on Facebook or on my blog I'm always happy to help um, so that's it for live with Prima today y'all have a great day thank you so much for joining me bye